Welcome to Cellmac Machinery Knowledge Base. Today we're going to teach you how to realign the back gauge bar, reset the datum on the probes and then reset the datum to the computer. So we have 50.7 on the right, 50.56 on the left. We're going to basically shove the probe to the right hand side which obviously is 0.14 larger in size. We're going to under two bolts underneath the back gauge bar. We're then going to adjust the grub screw front and rear to bring the actual back gauge rail in forward making it parallel checking with the probe and getting the correct dimension that we have on the left and then on the right. So basically we undo here and at the back which bolts this bar to this plate. We have a grub screw here and the same at the rear. You slacken the one off, you tighten the other, it'll go in one direction. You slacken the other one off and tighten this one, it'll go in the other direction. Once we've done that, we check the measurements once again and repeat until it is parallel. Okay, so we've adjusted the back gauge bar itself to try and get it parallel. And now it's reading 50.56 on the right. So now I'll go check it on the left again. And yes, I have 50.56 on both sizes now which means the back gauge bar is now parallel. Right, basically this probe is the uh, probe that we're going to date on this one too. So we've got 50.56 here, we need 50.56 here. So basically we undo this, we undo this, we then undo this and basically release off the grub screws. You then adjust this knob here, taking a measurement at the same time from the front of the probes. And then you adjust this until you get 50.56 or whatever the figure is that you have. At that point you lock this up and you lock this up. Like so. You then push the grub screws back forward lightly until they stop and then basically lightly nip this one here. Whatever you do, don't try adjusting this knob without undoing everything first because basically it won't move and if it does move you'll be damaging the knob itself. Okay, we have a back gauge that is now parallel. We have two probes that are now parallel. So the next thing to set is to set the x-axis datum to the correct size. And the basic way to do that, axis parameters, 851414, enter, OK. Arrow across until you see the x-axis parameters. So I'll show you again. We come into this page, left arrow, left arrow, axis parameters. Your reference position is 754.85. You write this figure down on a piece of paper and basically you're doing this so that you don't forget where you started. If you back gauge is out by 0.1 then basically increase it by 0.1 or decrease it by 0.1 and then come out of the parameters to editor basically then pick a figure let's say 50 mil semi-automatic run okay now we've adjusted the parameter we need to check it, but we need to re-reference. Press the manual as normal and press start. You'll see the back gauge R and X 
are now redatuming. Once they've redatumed, we can bring it in to 50 mil and check the distance. I'll show you how. Okay, so now we've set the reference point again. It may take several times, but let's check it and if it needs adjusting again, we will. But how to check it? The tool is 60 mil wide and the distance we programmed was 50 mil from there to the probe. But we need to measure from here rather than here. It's more difficult to measure from here. So it's 50 mil plus 30 mil equals 80 mil. And as you can see, it's now 80 mil.